But this actually is a serious story about a pretty harrowing spacewalk outside the International Space Station. The search for what went wrong is well underway right now, and we get the unbelievable details from ABC's Gina Sinceri of Houston. Spacewalks are dangerous. But when Italian astronaut Luca Parmentano started complaining about, well, something wet inside his helmet, his spacewalking partner Chris Cassidy did a double take. I see deep in sweat. No, no, it's not sweat. No, it's not sweat. Hey, Luca, can you clarify, is it increasing or not increasing? It's hard to tell, but it feels like a lot of water. Water? In his helmet? Yes, if there's enough water, he, he uh, certainly had that risk today, and that's why we took it so seriously. That's right. She, she said Luca Parmitano was in uh, danger of drowning in his spacesuit, orbiting 260 miles above planet Earth. It was only a second time out on a spacewalk. I feel a lot of water on the back of my head, but I don't think it slipped from my back. Are you sweating? Are you working hard? Um, I am sweating. But it feels like a lot of water. It was roughly two glasses of water inside his helmet. Mission Control immediately aborted the spacewalk. Luca, we'll have you head back to the airlock. His crewmates inside yank off his helmet and grab towels to dry him off. It will take a couple of days before engineers figure out just what went wrong, if the water came from his hydration bag or from the cooling tubes that run through a spacesuit. Ironically, just a day ago, he posted this video as a joke showing how he keeps his shiny head clean. Gina Sinceri, ABC News at the Johnson Space Center in Houston.